Welcome back to the channel guys. Laptop video. So today I'm going to be doing like a review. Now I've had this laptop over a, well just gone up a year now. Um, I've done quite a lot to it and it's been a pretty good machine to be honest. So let's just start at the beginning and talk about the original specs and then the specs it's at now because I've done quite a bit of upgrading and stuff like that as well. So the original specs, um, RTX 1650, it's got the i5 9th gen, um, the 60 hertz screen, um, it only came with 8 gigabytes of RAM and a 256 gigabyte SSD. So out of the box, it's pretty basic, um, but I mean, it is a budget laptop, it's kind of what you expect. Um, so I bought this brand new 650 pounds. So. For a budget gaming laptop, that's actually pretty good going, I think. But I think you have to bear in mind that it kind of needs upgrading straight away. I mean, at least memory. I mean, 256 gigabyte storage nowadays. I think it's lacking a little bit. I mean, I think minimum, really, you need a terabyte. So with that being said, one of the great things about these laptops is the amount that you can actually upgrade them. So it's got two SSD slots and it's got a 2.5 inch HDD slot. So now I've got a one terabyte SSD, the Evo 970, so pretty high performance SSD, and it's honestly running really well. And for extra storage, I've upgraded the HDD drive, the 2.5 inch drive, to 500 gigabyte. So altogether, I've got nearly two gigabyte, sorry, two terabyte of storage, which is more than enough for me. Obviously, I'm making my videos, I need to store them for a while. Um, so that's great for me. RAM wise, so originally it only comes with 8 gigabyte of RAM. I mean, it's not really enough nowadays, just 8 gigabyte, but it's got two RAM slots, which is great. So you can do dual channel. So what I've done is I've upgraded it to 32 gigabyte RAM. Um, 32 gigabyte is more than you need. I mean, if I'm honest, 16 gigabyte is more than enough but I do quite a lot of editing, so the extra RAM actually helps the speeds that it can process the videos and stuff that I do, so that's pretty handy as well. Um, other thing I'm gonna mention, the screen. So it came with a 60 hertz screen standard. Now, 60 hertz is all right, it will do the job, but ideally you want 120 or even the 144 hertz screen that I've installed on this. Um, haven't really seen anyone really do it before I was looking into it, but I managed to find the correct screen size to fit and then I ordered a couple of cables until I got the right one and then I managed to upgrade the screen to 144 hertz, which is miles better over the 60 hertz screen. Um, so it's a very upgradable laptop, which is really good. I mean, for example, my sister's MacBook Pro um, you can't upgrade the RAM because it's soldered in. You can't upgrade the storage because they're all soldered in. And, and you're pretty much stuck there, really. And they're very expensive. You know, I think my Acer Nitro 5 actually outperforms the Mac. Well, I guess you sign, you kind of just, you're paying for the brand, are you? But they are good laptops, don't get me wrong. But for gaming wise, I think the, these ones are a little bit better, if I'm honest. But anyway. So yeah, so I've upgraded quite a lot on this. Um, also, another good thing, I will bring the camera over so you guys can have a better look. Okay, so as you can see from the side, you've got two normal USBs, you've got your USB Type-C, HDMI cable, and the Ethernet cable, which I think is pretty good having the HDMI and the Ethernet cable. On the other side, swap it over. You've got another, USB ports, you've got your, your jack port, and then your charging port as well. I think you can never really have enough USB ports, in my opinion. Um, it's always handy, because for me, I've got my mouse, I've got my headset, and then I usually have like my phone plugged in and stuff, so you know, three is pretty, pretty good, I think. Okay, looks-wise, I think they're pretty good looking laptop, to be honest. I like the uh, red and black theme. The only thing I must admit is they are a bit sort of plasticky. If I'm honest, like if you just, but I mean, they've got to save the money somewhere to give you such good value for money. I think, I mean, at the end of the day, it is a 
uh, a budget laptop. I also think the keypad is actually a very good size. Um, a lot of the newer laptops and stuff, they are quite small and I find that pretty irritating to use. Generally I use a mouse anyway, but you know, that, that's, I'm quite happy with the size of that. And the keyboard itself is pretty good. Um, I think it's quite a nice travel on the keys to be honest. I feel that whenever I'm using it, I, I do know where I am. Um, whereas on some keyboards I feel like you kind of get lost and it's hard to sort of feel where you are where these I think it's pretty pretty good actually all right so a couple of other things to mention um, battery life obviously it's pretty important for a laptop if you're just streaming you know watching something on YouTube or watching other videos online you're probably looking up to 10 hours battery life uh, for just watching videos and stuff like that um, which is pretty good for a laptop actually, but if you start gaming, that's when it really starts to suck the life out of the battery um, it's using massive amounts of energy to perform as well as it can um, Time-wise, you're probably looking hour, an hour and a half But <clears throat> if I'm honest, if you start gaming on these without it plugged in, you can actually see your frame rate drop massively compared to when it's plugged in So honestly, I've never really gamed that long with it not plugged in because the performance levels drop so so much that I just I just go to plug it in straight away. So that's something to bear in mind if if you're going to be using uh, the laptop that's not plugged in. Gaming wise, it's not going to be as good as it is plugged in. Now, performance wise, with the 1650 RTX, it is actually pretty impressive how well this handles. I mean, I like to play Call of Duty as much as the next guy, you know, other than when you're getting hacked on and all that sort of stuff because the game is pretty broken, but. You know, other than that, it, it runs it pretty well. I mean, FPS-wise, in like Warzone and stuff, I seem to get between sort of um, 70 and 80 FPS. Uh, and then when I go into like the multiplayer, where the maps are a lot smaller, it can reach up to like 120. So it does actually perform pretty well for uh, gaming, which is pretty impressive for a laptop because at the end of the day, with laptops, you sort of your number one enemy is heat. And... That's pretty much the problem with the, the laptops, you know, they can only perform as well as they can keep themselves cool. Now, it is pretty good at cooling the Acer Nitro 5. I do actually have a cooling pad I use with mine. I'll just quickly, quickly grab it. I generally do run mine with a cooling pad. Um, I did a few tests with it, with it and without it, and I actually saw quite a lot of performance with that. So yeah, heat is pretty much the biggest issue with laptops and until they come up with some new invention that manages to keep these laptops really cool, that's pretty much going to be your limit. I mean, even some of the new gaming laptops, they've put in like the graphics card within the power cable so it's external to the laptop, which I think is kind of clever really because it takes it away from the laptop and it can cool itself outside. But then I kind of feel like, well, you've got your laptop and you, your great big charging cable with your graphics card attached to it so I think there's pros and cons to the newer style stuff but I mean I think as technology gets better and better and we want more and more performance we will see uh, improvements going along but would I recommend one of these laptops I actually would it's been really good for me it's done everything I've asked it to and I, it's been pretty heavily used over the last year with editing and gaming and it's not skipped a beat for me, so I actually have really enjoyed the laptop and um, for what you pay, I think it's really worthwhile. Um, with all the upgrades I've done, I've done a video on each, so I've done a video on the RAM, the SSD, the screen, uh, the HDD, so if you guys want to check out those videos, I've got those as well. I'll put them all in the description so you guys can check them out if you want. Um, if you want to subscribe to my channel as well, that would be awesome. So yeah, other than that, I think I'm going to end the video there. Um, if there's any questions you have, feel free to put it in the comments. I'll answer everything as, as well as I can to my ability. And, you know, if there's anything else you want to see on a laptop, let me know. Um, and I'll be, I'll be happy to look into it. I do enjoy doing these videos on the laptops. And a lot of you guys seem to enjoy watching them too. So I really appreciate it, guys. And like I usually say, look after yourselves and I will see you in the next one.